Welcome back to Spinning the Past. Today I'm going to give a the very first lesson in hand carding. It's going to be kind of a slow version, a, a simplified version, um, and then I'll make one that's a little quicker. Okay, so this is like beginning, beginning hand carding. So first you want to start with your wool, and if you remember in my last video I talked about the three and a half inches or longer. If it's longer than three and a half inches, then it needs to go on combs, not cards. So here I have this. This is a, um, a fleece that I did a couple years ago. This is a cross. It's, you want to get all the little bits and bobs out of it. This is example. So let's say you washed and you have this in it. Hand cards will not get that out. Um, hand combing will, but this should have you need to get this out before you even bring it to your hand cards. So I just have this, this cross, this Suffolk cross. And one of the things you can do when you get the, the fleece is they call it, they either would put it through a picker or they would spend time just pulling it apart like that. And again, these bits right here, you don't want to end up in your spinning. So if you see them, now's the time to throw them on the floor. And I think I made a video about all those little bits and bobs that are on the floor can definitely be repurposed for stuffing or felting. But so you wanna you wanna kind of make sure that it's ready to go on the hand card. So just something like this to to make the staples nice and loose. Remember when we're doing hand cards, we're not worried about all the fibers being in alignment. If you want all of them to be in alignment and the same length for true worsted spinning, then you would go on the hand combs. But we're gonna work on some nice fluffy woolen yarn. So here I have some hand cards and I chose these because this is a little bit coarser. So I got my hand cards that are just, a, these are my coarsest hand cards that I have. So what you do, your first thing you do is you charge. And I do from here down. If you do up here, it kind of gets stuck up there. So I'm gonna just, and it doesn't take much. The, the fuller this is, actually kind of the worse. You want your roll logs to be really light and fluffy. So I'm gonna just stop there, just for demonstration purposes. So I would have this here resting but for the video, I think I have to hold it up for it to be in camera. And then this one, you see, I, I have, see where my fingers are and see where my thumb's at. Thumb and first finger. So this is the way I would hold it if I were, were gonna do it. I don't know if it's on camera, so I'll do it up here. So I, I basically, I take this and I brush it and you should hear it. Now I should brush and make sure that I'm doing kind of a sweeping action. If I don't, it, see how it like will snarl on itself? We don't want that. We want all this to be nice and brushed like a girl's hair. Again, I work on this part of it. If it's up here, then it's harder to do your Rolex. Um, it doesn't get a nice comb. So I kind of stick to the this part of both of my cards. So this is, I will brush it, brush it. And then I will take this and I will in and then out in and out and i will do this until this is clean this is what we call clean so for beginner beginners i'm going to switch the cards for beginner true beginners at hand carding this might be easier uh, when you get better you can you can use the same cards and go back and forth but for this one we're just going to take it down to the basics 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 so just switch hands. If you're right-handed, if you're right-hand dominant, or use your left hand if you're left-hand dominant. So again, I'm gonna just, you should hear it. Okay, so this is clean. So now I have all of the fibers and they start about right here and they go down. Now we need to make this a row lag. In a more advanced video, I will show how I can put it on my cards and then make a row lag using just these cards. But today, we're just gonna 
do the very, very basics, like for beginner beginners. So you have this. What I do is I make a little beard. You see that? I make a little beard like that. And then I start rolling it towards the back of the, co the cards. Make it back. So I just make it back. And that is what you're going for. This beautiful little relic. This is what you're gonna put in your little basket. Preparation for hand spinning. You should do all of your prep work at the same time. So this is the time of year that I would do all my hand carding and hand combing. And then winter is when I would do the spinning. So everything gets ready for the hand spinner. So the hand spinner can go in and do some production spinning and she or he has got to get that spun quickly. And the best way to do it is from really good preparation. So let me try that again. So here we have, here's, so you see, this is what it would be like. And I'm just gonna pull it apart. Now this would have been a child's job. Just kind of tease it apart. Like I said, there is a contraption a dangerous contraption and, and I don't have it to, to pull this apart, but it can shred it and I don't really want to shred this. So again, nice little fluffy ball. I'm gonna, char this is called charging the card, charging the card. I want it even. I don't want all bunched up here and none there. I want a nice even rollback. And less is more. If I have it so full, again, it's going to be hard for me to get all of these um, carded or brushed. Here I am. This is, should be on my lap, but I'll hold it up here. I think that's more in camera. This is how I hold this. This is just a particular brand I like. And I go in here. Let's see if you can see it that way. And you're just going to brush it. Now you don't, it's, it's not a two-year-old's hair. You don't have to go soft, you know? It doesn't have to be that soft. You can be a little bit harder on it because you need to get this transferred to this other card. Okay, so it's on that card. Again, for beginner beginners, you can switch hands. Like I said, I'll make another video where I'll show you a sped up. Here we go. You can hear it. You should hear. You hear it? Okay. All nice and clean. I'll just put that aside. Again, I have on the roll log, all my little fibers are going that direction. I make my little Santa Claus beard and I just, you can just roll it towards you. If and that's what it should look like. Isn't that nice? So this will go in your basket and you just pick it up and just, you, you can spin really fast if it's well prepared. And so here's a little bit that I don't want to go in my spinning. Doing goes on the floor. All the stuff on the floor, I put it in a separate basket. That's just my go-to basket for patches and stuff. Here's another little piece of, so this is your chance to inspect. So there's a little bit of hay but um, if the wool has seeds in it, hay in it, this will not take it out. The combs will take a lot of it out, but if it's so short, like I've had fiber that short, that had to go on these, it couldn't go on the combs. Uh, there are tiny little bits of, um, somebody fed it almost like mustard seed, whatever the little seeds in it, and just got stuck in my, my cards and when I spun it was just a mess under my spinning wheel it was not pleasant I'm not gonna buy another fleece from that particular producer again um, as you can see you can see it here though I don't know if you can on camera but I have lots of little bits of fluff and um, vegetation so it's kind of a messy process so I have uh, no carpet floors so do it somewhere where you don't have carpeting or put a, 
a bed sheet down or something that'll make the cleanup easier. So again, this is spinning the past and this is the very, very first step on how to do 